Warning, this gallery contains adult content. View discretion is advised. Hey, yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your playboy, Michael Kendrick, back on deck. And you're listening to Straight Talk. Now, let's get it. Yo, check it. We're going to jump right into it. And I'm not even going to fucking hesitate to bring out my returning guest from Straight Talk, Episode 7. That's right. Y'all know her. It's Jackie Christie. Hey, welcome back in the building, Jackie. But before I get at you with why I invited you back, let me just state that I'm a fucking fair man to let you have the hot seat once again. And I do apologize for not allowing for that segment to be completed. All right? That's why you're Excuse bad. Excuse you, Mr. Man. That was your bad. Hey, yo, I just admitted that. Now, there's a good reason for my behavior. Now, let me catch up my listeners to tell them why I came at you fucking sideways. Now, here's where you mentioned to me that your reason for being on my show has to do with Ellis. That motherfucker took Kalanji's legs away from him. And mind you, he was in a coma for two fucking weeks. Why are you fucking here to stand on his behalf? Mr. Man, Mr. Man. I can't be mad at you. Nope. I do appreciate you inviting me back on your podcast show, but, um, uh uh-huh. It is the right thing to do. But now, this is where Miss Diva Christie and her Bussy is going to get all circles with you. I understand where you are coming from with all your manly feelings of what happened to Kalanji. I get it. I was shocked myself when I heard this. <laughs> no, no. Were you really? Because from where I sit from, you're here for one reason. And tell me about this plus one. Because during our phone call conversation... You didn't want to mention this person's name. Yes. Why is of that, course. Jackie? I really was, Mr. Man. I was really concerned about him. I don't know the whole story of how he got there. All I know on my end, I happened to meet with, uh, um, well, um, now before I say this person's name, I don't want you to interrupt me. Can you do that, Mr. Man? Come on, man. Mm. What the fuck? Just say it, Jackie. I'm not here for your games. This is all about you giving me the straight talk. So do that Excuse shit with me. you, Mr. Man. Cool your big boy ball sacks down. And give me your word you will not interrupt this deal. All right. Just fucking say it already, Jackie. I ain't got time Damn, for your games. That's all you had to do. Ooh. With no testimony attitude, Mr. Man. Anywho, this guy I met was Ellis. Yes, Mr. Island Boy. They just moved in our building, and Hunty Cunty, a.k.a. Honey Jones, and I was being neighborly, doing our good deed and shit. And to make a long story short, I'm not going to be here for hours expressing myself. So to put it bluntly in your fine ass plastic face, Lover Boy and I became very close, if you know what I mean. You didn't want to give me a chance, so I had to move on, Mr. Man. But you're still my number one choice. <laughs> I didn't have to hear all that. That shit is your business, which I don't give a fuck about. So what are you saying? (sighs) Mr. Man, what I'm saying, now that he's in my life, I'm helping him to clear his name and his record for being arrested for something he didn't do. I understand the situation of you being like a family to Kalanji. However, he told me how everything happened, and I believe him. Mm -hmm. He didn't assault. Kalanji? Mm-mm. It was that other, uh, oof, blue-eyed blonde boy. 
I forgot his name, but it wasn't Alex. Hmm. You mm -hmm. cartoon character coming out of a comic book. So now you're his savior? I ain't feeling everything you are saying right about now, Jackie. You know nothing about him. You just met him. Are you telling me you believe him after your sexual interaction, y'all head? Are you serious right about that? Mr. Man, you are assuming my interaction with him you know nothing about. You better get your inspector gadget mind out of my personal shit. <laughs> You're a fool. Let me just enlighten you, Jackie. My sources of this whole case is handled by very important people who are going to seek justice for Kalanji's case. Now you come on my show to share with me that you are now helping this fucking softy fool that you are building a relationship with because you had this sick encounter with him and now you're a believer? And that you join forces with him to help his case? <laughs> Yo, stop with your motherfucking swordplay. I don't need to know all about that. Oof. No, you didn't, Mr. Man. I know you aren't blowing your testimony steam and all up in this, this, all of this. <laughs> he damn straight I am. And I got all the big dog balls and more to address all in your strong chisel face. And you know what? I can't. I can't discuss this with you. Because you were never involved in this situation or this case Ooh, till now. Mr. Man, now you're getting testicles with me. And I might have to place you in my borderline category list of... Ball busters. And that's not a good list. Okay? So we're gonna put Michael Ball mm -hmm. Busters. <laughs> okay, so now you're pulling out props. I don't give a fuck what list you put me in, Jackie. You are totally out of line. And to come on here to defend a man you really know nothing about. But busting your own with him. That to me says a lot. Of what you bring here today. This has nothing to do with you showing some respect to the victim. His whole life has changed due to these two fools. That oh, is. Excuse you for the third time. Look at you, Mr. Man, putting my bussy in place on your show. Well, guess what? I love it. Does that make you feel good, huh, Mr. Man? <laughs> well, it excites me that you are stating your feelings for Galanji. And like I said, I do get it. I'm not heartless. However... I do have a heart to listen to a man who states his feelings of honesty to be innocent. I didn't expect you to believe him. No, I didn't. But for his justice, he is fighting for something he didn't commit. Okay? How many innocent men get sent to prison for something that they didn't do? Uh-huh. Exactly my point. But I thought you should hear for yourself, Mr. Man. Because he can only speak his own yeah. truth. I, you got your own right to believe this sort of motherfucker. But I don't have to, Jackie. And I'll give you that much. And to all my listeners. Now, I agreed with Jackie that her plus one can only join on this segment. Not live in person. But they will be able to join through our live stream. Yo B, are they connected? Yeah, they're connected. Um, hey Jackie, I'm here. Yes, can you hear me? lover boy. I can hear you and I see you too. Mm, look at so hmm, Yeah, you see? You see what I'm talking about? I knew that shit. And as I was saying before, I knew that Jackie's plus one was Ellis. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned for part two to see how all of this unfolds. <laughs>